I don't mind failing because at the end of the day, life is about taking risks. You know how many people have died and they would love to be on this planet right now so that they can take risks, so that they could do the things that they always wanted to do. I've got family members that have passed away. I've got to do it for them. They would love the opportunity to be in my position, to step out of their comfort zone, to take risks. Even certain times, and I made a video about this as well, so I don't want to say too much because it's going to kind of spoil the video. But even certain times, I get lazy. I don't want to go running and that. But I think to myself, you know what? And I do pass these people as well. There's some disabled person, someone with special needs, in a wheelchair. They would love to be in my position to be able to go for a run, but they come up for whatever reason. You don't want to take risks. You got a healthy mind, healthy body. You want to be comfortable. Next time you don't want to take a risk. Think about the little children that are in Great Ormond Street Hospital. Think about them. They would love to be in your position. To take risks. Mm -hmm. They would love to be in a position where they can fail and recover from it, bounce back. Trust me, you don't know how lucky you are to be alive, boy. And one of the things I hate is why well, I hate when people, you know, I like to talk about like people committing suicide and stuff. If you commit suicide, you are a selfish person. Not many people are dead right now. Innocent people are dead. People have died of cancer at age of 30. You don't even matter what age. Innocent people who, you know, just wanted to do the right thing in life, they're dead. They died young. Died early. Died for no apparent reason. Man got lit down by a lorry. And you want to take your life? You're selfish. You got to live your life for the people that are not around no more. Got them little girls that were locked up in Somewhere in America, some madman locked up some girls in their basement for 10 years, 15 years. Say no names, say no names. Um, AYLD, say no names, fam. You got little girls locked up in the basement. They would love to be free. They love to be in a position that most of us are in, but they're not. Because there's someone's sex toy in an underground bunker. And you want to take your life when there's people who, I was going to say dying to be where you are, but yeah. There are people who are desperate to be in your position. Are you going to take your life? Are you serious? You're, you, you should be, well, they can't be ashamed of themselves because they're dead, but it's selfish. Selfish. I don't give a fuck what I'm going through. I ain't taking my life for shit. How can I take my life and I've got a family member who's passed away who'd love to be in my position? Even certain times, like <laughs> the other day, right? I was painting my house. Um, I painted, I think I finished at like 10 o'clock or whatever, done one coat of painting. I was like, I know someone, they started their first, I think it was their first day, um, first night on a night shift. I think to myself, well, I ain't got to get up early in the morning. Yeah? 
The only reason why I didn't put a second coat of paint on is because I can't be bothered. When I know someone who I talk to, who I'm close to, they're starting their night shift, they have to work from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. They're doing the graveyard shift. I'm like, you know what? If that person is working right now, they're not wrong with me. I'm going to work right now as well. That's the mentality you have. You need to have. If you ever feel lazy, oh, I can't bother to exercise. Get your, out, get your ass out and exercise. Because you know, there's someone who's disabled who would love to be in your position to have a healthy body. And you're just taking it easy. You're afraid to take risks. Just remember, there's someone dead, you know, who'd love to be in your position to take a risk. Even if you look like a fool, as long as what you do, you believe in, that's the main thing. I made a video before talking about, um, I think it was a video where I went down to my vending machine, uh, where my vending machine was in Islington. And I made a little vlog. And uh, I, I think I took my bike down there, whatever, in it. And I was talking about the lights that I installed in the, um, in the community centre. I used to sell lights from the Habitat store. And there was one time where I bought a bunch of lights, yeah, like, I think, yeah, 50 lights. I filled up my mum's attic with all these lights. She was going mad when I pulled up outside the house with all these lights. And to promote these lights, to sell these lights, I got one of the lights and I made it into like a test dummy, yeah? I connected the light to a plug so that I could go in people's shops and plug it in and show them this is how the light works, whatever. I used to walk into shops, People used to smirk and laugh and think it's funny, like, I don't know, maybe I was black, maybe it just, just looks stupid, it don't matter, innit? People used to smirk and laugh. But what they need to realise is, this is the attitude you need to have if you want to be successful. You need to be fearless. You need to not give a fuck what people think. These people that are smirking and laughing, these are the same people that are working for someone else. Most of these people don't have no dreams or they fuck your dreams, yeah? These people don't have a plan B. They, these people don't think about, okay, boom, I'm gonna work this job for a couple of years then I'm gonna try and do my own thing. And they wanna laugh at me? Come on, Kazi. No. Let them laugh. Let them laugh at your plans. I remember one time I was standing outside B&Q in Enfield. And I was handing out leaflets. So I got a limited company registered, whatever. And I was handing out leaflets. And I saw someone from the ends that like, man kind of used to roll with or whatever, innit? Yeah. And he's come up to me and he's approached me and he's talking to me. Now, people would have thought I was, I was like some fucking Jehovah's Witness, yeah? I'm standing outside, listen to this, I'm standing outside b and Q. I I think it was a Sunday as well. Wearing a shirt, white shirt and black trousers. Yeah? Handing out leaflets. He's approached me now and he's chatting to me or whatever. And he's like, what are you up to? And I say, yeah, I'm just trying to promote my electrical business. And he's like, oh, okay. I'm probably thinking that, like, yeah, like, my man's a madman standing outside B&Q on a Sunday on his jacks, handing out leaflets. But this is the same man that's got his own place, yeah? It's the same man, I don't need to worry about money for the moment. Yeah? It's the same man I've got, yeah? Things in another country. I ain't afraid to step out of my comfort zone. Like for me, Let's say like public speaking and stuff like that. Yeah? That's not my comfort zone. I don't have experience talking to 200 people, but boy, it has to be done. Because again, there's people who have left my life who would love to be in a position. I know they wouldn't have done it themselves because yeah, that might not be their thing. But when I think to myself, you know what? If it makes me uncomfortable or whatever, so be it. Who gives a fuck? I've got family members, they're not around no more. They love to be in my position so that they can, you know, do whatever, make something of themselves. 
Ah, oh, Dave, é demo?